Ah, good morning, my people. Good morning, my people. And that it is a very good morning. I want to show y'all something, man, that um, just the scriptures itself will sit up here and just blow your mind if you sit up there and put your mind into it. And, you know, God is trying to wake up his people. And I thank him that, you know, at least I could be one of the ones that could just sit up there and not try to teach people anything, but just to show my people something so we could turn away from the Antichrist or the many Antichrists that are out here trying to take the place of the true and live you in God. And even though it can never happen, but at the end of the day, it's up to us because we all got to stand before the true and living God. So here's the Holy Bible, I6II edition, King I James version, I for the Father, I for the Son, and I for the Holy Ghost, and six for us men. Check it out. I'm going to take you to the book of Matthew, the gospel according to St. Matthew in this chapter one. Now, I want you to see something. Now, up here, it's supposed to be chapter one, but what is that one? It's a J, but this is what they call the J in our modern English. But in old English, that J was an I and it was a one. They just used the J as a hook, the hook to the other I's that were the number ones. So this is chapter one. You would say it's a J, but it's literally in Roman uh, numericals or in Roman numerics, Roman numerals It's chapter one. So I know a lot of people know these things, but I want my people to just realize that when they created the name J-E-S-U-S is really I-E-S-U-S because right here it tells you that the J was chapter one. This is how they deceived us, my people. So when you look at the beginning of the Bible, when it says King, it looked like King James, that's really King I James, because any letter that looked at like a J, it was really an I. And they know this. So to deceive us, they made that J or what, what was an I, they made that J into its own letter. That's why the I has always been before the J. The J never came before I. So even in our older alphabets, it was never a J. It was always an I. So that's just one point I wanted to show my people. Check this out. Chapter one, chapter I, chapter I, I mean, J, chapter I, chapter one. Same thing, my people. The book of the generation of Iesus Christ, the son of Dayui, the son of Abraham. Abraham begot Isaac and Isaac begot the Iacob. You see how they changed the Iacob into Jacob? So when you calling a man another man's name, ain't nobody going to answer to that. If you calling me uh, Maurice, my name is Morris. So you change the letters or you change whatever you want. I'm not going to answer to another name. But in the spirit realm, the name is Iacob, not Jacob. And Iacob begat to Iudas. So they calling the children of Judah or Iuda, <laughs> Judah. It's Iudas and his brethren. And Iudas begat to Perez and Zerah of Tamar. And Perez begat to Ezram. And Ezram begat to Aram. And Aram begat to Aminadab. And Aminadab begat to Neasan. And Neasan begat to Salman. And Salman begat Bus of Rechab. And Bus begat Obed of Ruth. And Obed begat Ayesi. Not Jesse. Ayesi. <laughs> you see how they lied to us? So they gave us their own version of the King James to deceive the people because they know the words of a king has power. So they created their own king. That's Nebuchadnezzar in the flesh. Nebuchadnezzar. That's the image that's going to be destroyed at the end of time. And I, yes, he begat Dayui, the king. And Dayui, the king, begat Solomon or Solomon of her that had been the wife of Rias. They say Urias, but it's Rias. And Solomon begat Reboam, and Reboam begat to Abia, and Abia begat Asa, and Asa begat to Iosaphat. Hmm, no J, it's not Josephat, it's Iosaphat. And Iosaphat begat Ioram. Hmm, not Joram, Ioram. And Ioram begat Ozias, and I Ozias begat Iotham. Not Joatham or Joatham, it's Ioatham. And Ioatham begat Akaz, and Akaz begat Ezekias, and Ezekias begat Manassas, and Manassas begat Emon, and Emon begat Iosias, not Josias, 
And Iosias begat Iaconias, not Jeconias, it's Iaconias, and his brethren, about the time they were carried away to Babylon. And after they were brought to Babylon, Iaconias begat Salathiel, and Salathiel begat Zerubbabel, and Zerubbabel begat Abiud, and Abiud begat Eliakim, and Eliakim begat Azor, and Azor begat Sadok, and Sadok begat Akim, and Akim begat Eliud, and Eliud begat Eleazar, and Eleazar begat Matan, and Matan begat Iacob, not Jacob. Iacob. And Iacob, how they would say it back in the days, begat Ioseph, not Joseph, Ioseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Iesus, not the other guy, Iesus, who is called Christ. So, people, I'm not trying to sit up here and make nobody seem crazy or dumb, but a lot of people made me seem like I'm crazy and dumb from preaching Iesus. I came from the J and when Iesus himself showed me who he was, I had to leave the J alone because I realized the J was a lie because this is the 1611 King Iames Bible. This was written before the modern King James Version Bible. So you go back to the original, just like they tried to change the original faces of the people of this land. They weren't who the J looked like today. They looked like who the I looked like back then because this is his land. So all the generations from Abraham to Dayawid are 14 generations. And from Dayawid to the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations. And from the carrying away into Babylon to Christ are 14 generations. Now the birth of Iesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Iosef, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Iosef, her husband, being a just man, even the word just is Iust. Iust man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he had thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Iosef, thou son of Diawid. Fear and not to take one to thee, marry thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. Let's go to the next page. Whoo, I love this. This is just the Bible. Oh my God. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Iesus. Now listen to the next line. For he is shall say you. His people, his people, his people. That's why Iesus' name is Iesus for Israel. His people. And when you realize who the true Israel is, you won't look at the ones that this J E S U S is saying is Israel, because then your eyes will be turned from them unto his people. Slay yous, the one who were led in slavery by them own sins, his people. We were in bondage because of our own sins, his people. We got brought into captivity because of our own sins, his people. We got labeled black because of our sins made us black, his people. He allowed all these bywords and words to be placed upon us for us to know that we are his people. So Iesus came to say you his people from their sins. Now, all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet saying, behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel which is being interpreted is God with us. Then I, Yosef, being raised from sleep, it did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him and took it unto him his wife and knew it her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son and he called it his name, Iesus. The regulation 
of Iesus Christ, the true son of the living God, the righteous and holy one of Israel. You can't see his image, but you could feel his spirit because he lives and dwells because of his word. He is the word of God, and that is his name, Iesus. I love you, my people. He told us to be a light. We can't hide our lights under the bushels anymore or put them under the bed. Our candle posts are shine bright. And if we ain't pointing to the king, then we ain't pointing to nobody else but Satan. And it is my desire to sit up here and keep the king in view. So that when you look at that name, you have to sit up here and make a decision. Because many people are in the valley of decision right now. And you know it. It's like your life is on the line. And if you want to play with your life by playing with God, going into these sin agogs, playing with the Lord, thinking you can pay your way into heaven. That's the lie they gave unto us. He came to save you his people from their sins. No other king can save you us from our sins, my people. But the true king. Jesus Christ. These not my words. This is the Holy Bible. So when you fight against me. You fighting against his word. And when you kick against the prick, only your foot getting blood on it. I've been in this for seven years. The Lord been chasing me and whooping my behind. And I thank him for it because of the truth. It's better to get whooped by the truth than to sit up here and feel good and a lie. And at the end of that lie, when death hits you, you the one going to stand before God with your lies. And his truth is going to sit up here and show you who is God. So my people, God love you. My, my people, God love you. My people, God love you. Because he want to save you from your sins. Can't nobody else do it. We've been calling on that other name for so long and death is still reigning in that name. Because he is the king of death. Everywhere you look in every land, you see nothing but graveyards and tombstones and more and more people getting led to him each and every single day. Churches are burying people inside the church. When you can see a church bringing dead bodies in the church, then what God are you preaching, my people? If our God came that we may live and have life. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's a war going on. It's a war going on. And our people is in the valley of decision right now. And you don't realize what's on the other side of that valley that's waiting for you. I'm not sitting up here threatening you. I'm telling you the truth according to the word of God. It's a war going on, my people, and it's a war for your souls. And when you realize the ones that's been sitting up there supposed to be caring for your souls, oh, they was carrying your souls in their hand. And you don't want to know to who, because if it ain't to this man right here or to the one who died for our sins, we can't worship the gods of the world. And when you can see this man's image in the world and got statues of this man's image, then we worship in the false God and idol because the Bible told us not to sit up there and do that. And we as his people, we always have to find a king that we can see with our eyes. And God want us to use our eyes to see his eye. And that's it right there, my people, because his eye is upon us. The word of God is true. Let every man be found a lie, even myself, because I'll just tell you what the words say. That's it. There it is right there. Free of charge, because Iesus love you, his people. Because when you read in the book of Ayan, he said he pray not for the world, but he pray for those that God has given you and bun to him in the world. Why? Because he died for his own. And if you are his, oh, you're going to feel it in the spirit.
because you're getting tired of the lies you've been paying into to these money grubbers. They just want your money and your soul to be given unto their God. It's either God the Father or the devil, the God of this world. I ain't saying I know it all, but it's the word of God that's telling me everything I need to know my people. And I'm sharing it with you because I love my people, man. I love my family. And if I know you, you family. Peace.